here the Samsung 55 inch 4K UHD TV with the uh, 50 inch uh, RCA uh, 4K TV. Um, I did do a video on this separately, uh, but I did, based on some feedback that I've gotten, um, we wanted to do some comparisons. Now, the first thing you notice is this box is bigger than this box, and it should be because this Samsung TV is, is a 55 inch uh, TV. This is the a 50 inch television, right? But they're in that 50 plus inch class, and they're both 4K TVs. Um, so we're gonna compare them, and then I'm just gonna conclude when it comes to recommended use case, based on my personal opinion. And that's just my opinion. Um, you can take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but I thought it'd be really useful to just do this comparison video, just in case you're deciding whether you should actually purchase these, this type of TV or the Samsung. All right, so let's get right to it. Okay guys, so I've assembled both TVs. Here is the NU6900, which is the Samsung. Now, obviously this is now the 55 inch TV, as you can see, because it is bigger. This is our 50 inch RCA TV here, right? Um, so you can actually tell, like. 50 to 55 inches, it actually does make a difference because you're looking at an angle, uh, when you're looking at the dimensions, you're talking about the diagonal, right? So you actually do notice, there is a noticeable difference in the, the surface area of your TV screen, right? It actually is noticeably bigger. Um, now, as you can see, they both have similar the similar leg, uh, similar legs, right? And all modern TVs today have these uh, two types of you know, bracketed legs on each side. Uh, for more stability um, and obviously this type of design when it comes to the legs is ideal for large TVs and we are in an age now of large TVs so this is this is a more stable configuration for 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 TV feet or TV legs um, so another thing I want to talk uh, I want to talk uh, mention as well is this TV actually weighs a bit I actually you actually I recommend when you're installing this like on a wall or even just putting the, the legs on it and mount it on the TV that you get two people to actually lift this TV onto your, your TV stand because it does actually weigh a little bit, surprisingly enough. Now, that being said, this RCA, this 50 inch, it is very light, relatively light, way lighter than, than this TV. I, I was able to lift this up easily with one arm, right? It's pretty light. Um, so that's an uh, interesting uh, feature. Okay, so now we're looking behind both TVs, of course, on the left area of our Samsung with the nice smooth kind of uh, finish going from left to right. They have these horizontal lines, but it has a nice sleek look to it. Uh, all the ports are actually kind of um, inset into the back of the TV, uh, indented, I should say, uh, and they point sideways, uh, which is really good for wall mounting, right? They don't jut out behind the TV. Uh, which is what's good about that, you don't really need that additional clearance between the TV and the wall. And I'll just quickly show that in a second uh, in a close-up. Uh, and on the left, of course, we have our RCA. Uh, an interesting design. Um, it's not a flat, smooth design, but it has this, I don't know what you would call it, but some type of pattern uh, behind there. Um, and all the ports, uh, just like the uh, Samsung counterpart, they're not sticking out the back, they all point downwards and they're inset as well. Again, keeping in mind that, you know, these TVs are good for wall mounting. So that's also a good design from RCA as well. So back to the Samsung TV, we have one digital uh, optical out port, a USB port, an antenna in coax port, one LAN for RJ45 connections, an HDMI in two, which also doubles as an ARC port for uh, surround sound. We have an HDMI here as well, and one power uh, port. Now our RCA, on the side here we have a, a USB uh, port, one coax uh, port here for your cable or, you know, cable TV. Uh, and we have two HDMI ports here on the side. So, in addition to these on the side that we just looked at, uh, remember when we had the TV and we looked at the bottom of the television set and we found these additional ports? Well, here they are. It's just a different angle. We're looking out to the back of the television. So just a quick recap. We have optical port right here. We have our component audio here left and right. We have component here for our video. And here's our line out port. 
uh, and here are two more HDMI ports. Um, one is the HDMI 1, which also doubles as an ARC port, which you can use for surround sound. But in essence, you have one, two, three, four HDMI ports in the back of the TV. So you have two more uh, on, on the RCA than you have on the Samsung, which only has two HDMI ports. So here's the bottom of the RCA TV. Now here, I mean, we, earlier we talked about the power switch here and the volume and channel buttons, which can be used manually if you don't have a, or if you cannot find your remote. But I wanted to show you these other ports here along the bottom. So of course, going from left to right, we have an optical port for audio. We have a left and right component uh, audio ports. We have our, our component um, video ports there as well, which are these three. And then here we have our line out right here and then we have two HDMI ports uh, this one actually can double as an ARC port which we use for surround sound um, and um, yeah which is pretty a uh, pretty cool design and here's the bottom of the RCA TV uh, similar configuration where you do have speakers that are pointing downwards uh, on the left and right hand sides here right uh, and right in the middle here we do have a manual switch and I believe the sensors are there as well for your remote, the infrared sensors. Now let me just go a bit closer because I've noticed something additional with this TV as well. So let's go check it out. So taking a closer look at the manual switch, there are also two additional rocker, or I call them left to right rocker buttons. So right here, this is our power switch right here, right? That's our manual power switch. And then this here is your volume. You can actually control the volume. So this one here is volume down, that's volume up, right? And it's like a rocker. You can actually So this right here is our power switch. This is our volume control. So this is volume down and that is volume up, right? Volume down, volume up. This button here is where you actually can access the menu feature as well as the, and it's also doubled as a channel down button. So if you're going down channels, you press this and you can also use that to access the menu feature. And this obviously is the channel up button and it also doubles as a uh, input uh, selector. So if you wanna select, you know, whatever HDMI ports you wanna use, you use this button as well. So here's the bottom of the Samsung TV. And uh, as you can see, we have the stock speakers that are facing downwards on both left and right hand sides. And right in the middle there, we do have a manual on off switch, which is right here. And of course, there you also have the remote, uh, the sensor, of course, for the remote. Um, I believe it's infrared, um, but it's right there in the center. So if you cannot find your remote control, don't panic. You can still use that manual button to turn on and off the TV. And as I said earlier, here is your power switch. And this housing, of course, has the sensors for your remote control. So here we are just looking at the controllers. So the Samsung controller is a little smaller than the RCA. Um, but from a controller perspective, you have pretty much all of the essential buttons on both controllers. Starting from the top, of course, you have our power buttons or our sources here for our Samsung. Uh, there's a mute button for the RCA. Um, TV, of course you have our, alpha, our, our numeric keypads and then we have a volume and channel control and as you go down you have your directional buttons, uh, your main OK button um, and then as you come down to the bottom here you have your additional features on both controllers uh, where you can control your closed captioning, uh, you can control your picture quality um, and then there's also multimedia keys at the bottom here for the Samsung and they have the same thing here on the uh, uh, right here on the RCA. So pretty much basic functionality is there on both of the controllers. Nothing great, uh, no big major difference between either of them. Um, you know, it's just a, it's just a TV controller. Now when you look at the backs here, um, both controllers take AAA batteries. So as you can see, both TVs are turned on. So let me just do a quick recap of the Samsung um, TV here on the left. So what I love about the Samsung TV, it's just the fact that the, the look and feel of the fonts, the icons, it looks very well, it looks very, very polished, uh, very well done. Um, and it's pretty intuitive to, to navigate. Like right here are all my channels from my 
free over the year uh, digital channels. They're right here. Um, you can just like scroll from left to right. Um, I believe if I press the guide on my remote, I can actually see this in grid format right here um, where I should see all of my channels um, today's date. It's uh, of course New Year's Eve here. Um, and right now I'm actually not um, connected to an antenna uh, right now, but normally what you would see is for these channels here, you would actually see the grid guide showing the different times, everything will be shown um, on the right hand side, but this is the look and feel of the grid. It looks very clean. Um, and what I love about it as well, there's even a picture on the top right hand side that shows you how to use the remote to navigate the guide. Um, if I press exit on the remote, I can see all of my apps along the bottom. So right now that's live TV mode, uh, where you can actually see the channels that we looked at, I have some pre-installed apps. I have Netflix that came pre-installed. All these were pre-installed. Prime Video from Amazon, YouTube, Google Play, Cineplex Store, Movie Go, Gallery, Internet, so you can browse, of course, the web, Facebook Watch, uh, which is nice, uh, pretty nice app, uh, Weather Network, CTV. So there's a lot of apps I have pre-installed on here. And these actually came pre-installed with, with this TV when I got it. Um, and um, you can even customize these apps as well. Um, and then we go back here to the left. And over here is where you can select your source, obviously. And here's the settings page. So when you go here, this is where you can set your picture, your sound. Um, you can uh, broadcasting, uh, set up your auto programming, etc. And here's your general tab. And here's where you can set up your network, uh, uh, change time, language, device name. There's an external device manager. So you can manage external devices that are connected to this TV, which is cool. Uh, I love that. Um, Apple AirPlay settings, so you can stream. Streaming is a big thing now, so you can use AirPlay to stream videos, music, and photos from your iPhone, iPad, or Mac to this TV. So seeing that this is a Samsung TV, that's great that you have uh, the AirPlay feature for you iPhone and uh, you, you Mac owners out there. There's an eco solution where you can configure energy saving options. And what's a good TV about accessibility options for people who uh, may have, may, might be visually or hearing impaired, we have these services here that can really help you uh, to use your TV. So for example, you can have high contrast set up on the TV so people that are visually impaired can see the characters on the TV easily. You can enlarge the fonts um, and uh, caption settings and everything. Smart features, you know, uh, start setup. I'm not gonna start the setup. And here's your support page, so where you can check for the latest software updates, and I have the latest update. I think I have it set to auto update. Uh, you can do a self diagnosis, so you can do start picture tests, start sound tests. Uh, so you can, you know, pretty much uh, reset the smart hub. You can reset the TV itself. There's an e manual, wow, which is pretty decent, right? For instructions, troubleshooting tips, and just press that and see because I think I am connected to the net here. Yes, I am. So it's e-manual, you get quick guides, uh, you know, learn how to quickly run and use the frequently used functions like Bixby, Ambient Mode, Smart Hub. All that is already here in the e-manual library. I love that. So, you know, this is a, a I call this a green, sir, a green feature that you don't need a, a, a big paper manual to, to, uh, to have all these things. You can get everything through the e-manual uh, and um, that is really good. So let's, let's get out of that. So let me just go back here to um, my menu here. If I can find the button on the remote. Just give me one second, just bear with me. Uh, guide, yeah, let's press the guide button. That's not it, exit. All right. So that's just a quick overview of this TV. And I, I do have a link below if you wanna get the full, um, cause I did a real deep dive on this TV a, a while back. So if you wanna check that out, check out the link below. Um, so now let's look at our good friend here, the RCA 50-inch uh, TV here on my right. So I just turn it on here, and here's where you know you can set up your your, your location. So I'm going to say home mode, not retail mode. Um, go to next step. Let's do that. Time zone. Let me just update this here and put uh, Eastern Daylight Saving Times is on 12-hour format. Go to next step. So here's where I set up my cable. Go to the next step, 
and I'm gonna here's where it's gonna actually just go through and scan for channels so let me just fast forward escape exit and let's go to the menu mode so one thing I'm gonna mention this TV it is a 4k ultra high def TV now you know like how on this TV on the left here from Samsung let me just quickly get back to that picture I want to show you the guide with Samsung Samsung comes with apps right applications right because it's a smart TV the um, RCA TV um, and that does not have any apps it doesn't come with any pre-installed apps it's a basic 4k, 4K TV so if you're looking for a cheap 4K television, uh, especially if you want to use it for gaming, and we're going to talk about gaming soon, or you just want a basic TV just to watch your your you know your cable television, right, uh, or your over-the-air channels, this is the TV for you on the right. But if you need something with uh, some more meat to the bones, I call it, where you want a smart TV with applications and all that, like our our Samsung friend on the left, well, may, may, you may want to look to the Samsung uh, TV. Now, from a price point. Of course, the Samsung uh, TV I have here is a little bit more expensive. So it retails for about 550 Canadian. That's the Samsung on the left. And the RCA is about, uh, about 350 Canadian. So there's about a $200 variance between the two TVs. Of course, because one is a smart TV and one is a basic 4K LED TV. Um, and, you know, the, the TV on the left, the Samsung retails for around 550 Canadian. And the RCA retails for about 350 Canadian, so it is about a $200 variance. Uh, so for you uh, guys in the US, that equates roughly to you know, yeah, four four ninety nine or so US uh, for the uh, Samsung, and you know, roughly two ninety nine or so uh, US uh, for the RCA. Um, and of course, if you look around, I'm sure you can get better deals on these TVs. But that's just to give you an idea of the uh, price difference between the two.
So guys, that wraps up my comparison video uh, where I've compared the Samsung uh, 4K 55 inch UHD TV with the RCA uh, 4K um, 50 inch um, UHD uh, TV. Um, so quick summary, I mean, these are both affordable 4K TVs. Um, if you want something on the lower end of the spectrum uh, when it comes to the, the, your bang for the buck, uh, these TVs are in that price range. Um, high level, this is about uh, you know, $499 US, $500 US. Uh, this one is about uh, $300 US, $299 US. So there's that differential of about $200 between the two. Obviously, this is a bit more expensive because it's a larger screen, comes with built in applications. Um, it even has a, a higher refresh rate of 120 Hz. Um, and uh, it's a heavier TV, there's a lot more in there. Um, and this one actually uh, has a refresh rate of about 60 Hertz um, and it doesn't come with any applications so this is just a plain 4k TV um, and um, but both are pretty good uh, as you saw from the video gameplay um, there's a little bit of more you can notice the lag a little bit more on this TV when you play fast paced games like Street Fighter but I mean for just general gameplay it's still pretty pretty decent um, experience on this TV again it's like a you know, $300 TV. It's not bad for the price. Uh, this one, the gameplay on this, it's a little bit better, um, obviously, because you're paying a little bit more uh, for the quality. But all in all, these are generally decent TVs. Um, and as you saw, um, one other thing I want to mention as well, um, you know, at the end of the day, from a use case perspective, if you want a decent television that you want to you know, enjoy your movies in 4K, you want to just enjoy your regular, your regular cable TV, and you need something that is affordable, that is good for playing games, uh, 4K games especially, um, you know, these are the kind of TVs that you, you, you would need. But if you really, 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 really want to save some money, 
you know, get the, you know, maybe get the RCA, right? But if you are somebody who you have a little bit more money to spend, and uh, in addition to just having a good TV for gaming and, and consuming Netflix or whatnot, you need to have the smart component, right? The smart TV component where you have applications and, uh, and all that lovely stuff, then you get the, uh, the Samsung. Okay guys, well, all the best for the new year and uh, stay tuned for more great content. Bye bye. Hi guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you subscribed, thank you very much again. I appreciate it. Um, feel free to leave some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this video as well as other videos that you'd like me to do. And one last thing, if you want to find out how you can qualify uh, for these giveaways here uh, like this, uh, check out my website at www.redtechbot.com. The link is down below. Bye bye.